Okay, so this problem here looks really scary, but it turns out they've actually done all of the hard work for you. If you pick out the, 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 the main part of this, they've written that the sum of n rectangles is given by that. And so the integral, right, is the sum of an infinite number of rectangles. So if they've already set up this integral for this, the sum for you, all you have to do is find the sum of an infinite number of rectangles, just let n go to infinity. And so all this problem boils down to is a limit. So if you were to take the limit of this thing, um, there's a shortcut if the power on the top matches the power on the bottom. Uh, you can just take those coefficients. The reason for it being when n gets really, really, really big, Subtracting 27 is insignificant. Subtracting even this is insignificant next to that. The big powers win. So basically you're looking at negative 108 n squared over 6 n squared. The n squares cancel out. You get 108 over 6, and that is the hardest part. If I were just to do a calculator because I'm lazy, if I were just to do 108 divided by 6, that gives me 18. You could also do, um, uh, yeah, you could also do um, dividing everything by the highest power of n, but this is easier. So we get an 18, and that should do it. You see it there is answer C, and we're done.